Hey everybody, we've had a few cold windy days, no good for making a video. Today's not terribly warm, but the wind's not blowing, so it's good. And I got a school skipper over there. I don't know what excuse he came up with, but it's gonna be good because one of our neighbors told us about some cows that are off our range over on their side, and we need to go get those and get them back home where they belong. So we're gonna take advantage of the no wind for a minute, take some horses and dogs and go look for some stray cows, come on. You guys ready to go, huh? Who's ready to go? Good doggies! Good doggies! You need your rope! Alright, get loaded up. We got some cattle to find, Ridgy Bug. You gonna rope them? So that's blow by and Cade put a tube on there that sends the blow by down out. Yeah, Cade, Cade put a hose so that blow by goes out down underneath there. Mama's going to follow us with the Lodum truck. Then we're going to get in together. That way we don't have to ride miles back to our truck. So that's going to help us out a bit there. You're not waiting on me. I am. <laughs> Rhett, are you ready to go? Are you waiting on Dad? Yeah. Okay. So this is the corral we're going to bring those cows to. Laura's going to leave her truck here and come with us. Got one little problem. Rhett has locked himself in. So they're trying to talk him into pushing the button. Oh yeah, good job. That's always fun when you got the kid locked in there and you're trying to tell him, push the button. He got it. Rhett, what happened? That's funny. Wait, you, you locked in? <laughs> you have to unlock it? Alright, load up with me, let's go. <laughs> Are you guys ready? Getting a handful of little babies over here, Mama. Yes, we are. How many? We counted four. I eat one and three and five. One red one and three black ones. Did you see it, Rich? Did you see red?
down and wait, or are you going to just come down and get your truck and go to the house? I'm not in a hurry to get home, so I'm good. We just have to leave at four, so we have plenty of time, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, uh, uh, Billy Goat invited us to jump in with him and ride down to Vegas for the girls' basketball game tonight. So it's the state tournament. Today's their first game. So there's games Friday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, if they keep winning. That's lots of trips to Vegas. But we're going to ride down there with Kelly tonight. And then if they keep winning, Laura might be going back, right? <laughs> yes, I'll be there for every game. <laughs> so today we're going to try to capture some stray cattle and then make it to another basketball game. Just doing it all, right, Mama? <laughs> They should do good. They'll do good tonight. They'll win tonight. Tomorrow will be good. This is the boundary right here. I just want to look and see if there's any fresh tracks, which there is some tracks walking this fence a little bit. So, yep, we'll open this gate up so that we can come down through. Ooh, you need to get it now. You want to get it now? It's a special gate. We're opening it. We got some cows on the wrong side. We got to go get them and bring them home. They're lost on the wrong side of the fence. Should we bring them home? Yeah. Yeah, we better help them get home, huh? They went the wrong way. Now we got to help them find their way. Um, it's a, it is a special game. hoping they were going to be easy. Standing along the road waiting to go home. <coughs> I think there's 
there's any cows by the water tank? Oh boy, I see some. Is that what we're looking for? You see, I see an orange tag. That's going to be the ones we're looking for. We'll get up here on the top side of them. Maybe it is going to be easy. a minute to see what we got and what's happening here and then we'll make, I've never rode make a that plan. No, go ahead and let them out. They know where they're going. So what those dogs are going to do is find whatever cows are around, put them in a little bunch and circle them, which gives us plenty of time to get on our horses and ride over there, see what we've got and decide of what we need to do with them. You're gonna ride my horse? What am I gonna do? Stay with mom? Hang out with mama? You're gonna go with Oh, I'm gonna ride on it with you? <laughs> Maybe in a minute. Let me see what kind of cows we got. Maybe we're gonna have a nice cattle drive. Yeah. Somebody's gonna have to hold this camera while I pee though. Wind's just picking up right there. Okay, we'll see you down the road just a little bit. Those cows are uh, about a mile ahead of us. The dogs are with them. So we'll just kind of trot along here, catch up with them. They might. Should we, just, should we just get in the truck and drive down the road, see if the dogs take them all the way where they're supposed to go? Those dogs, don't the dogs kind of know to just take them with the road or something? Get them. Are the dogs sharp enough to know where they came from and train them? Uh, yeah.
so you see these cows kind of ran off a little ways these dogs have got them stopped like they're supposed to and held up i'm going to go ahead and call these dogs off and try to get these cows to stand here and relax for a minute and then maybe they'll drive half decent all right that's good you that's good Stay back. On that side of the fence, that is our neighbors, the Twitchells, that's all theirs. Our cows will walk around the fence, it goes way up into the mountain way over there. But if they go on top of the mountain, they can go around it. So that's what they've been doing. So we've had to come up here once every once in a while and open the gate up and bring them back to our side. So now we've got to drive them all the way down to there. Let him walk. Buck, that's good. Let him walk. Good boy. Good buck. You're a pretty good puppy, huh? That's a good boy. Good buck. Now let him walk. Betty, you got a cactus right on your back. Look at it. Come here, Betty girl. Poor Betty. Need to get that off you. All right, let them go. Dang, let them walk. Come here, Jill. Let them walk. Ah. All right, get back. Let them walk now. Get back. Let them walk. Come here. Come on back. Good doggy. Come on back. Let them walk. 
Betty, Betty, let him walk. Yeah, yeah. So the three that we brought down from the neighbor's place are getting up here with this other herd. We might let these dogs bam for just a minute and then ride away and leave them in a bunch. That'll be good. Surely these cows we brought out of there will stay with the others now that they're home. Like Mama's still waiting on us here. <laughs> I don't think she wanted to go back to the house very bad. Hmm. Hang on to this while I do some whip pop and we'll try to just call those dogs and go to the truck. He doesn't like getting in too much. Get in, get in. Get in, get in, get in. Get in, get in. What? Do they have molasses in it? That one down. Okay. How many is that? One, two, three. How old are you? You don't know? You're two. You're almost three. Namaste. Paint. That's all, huh? <laughs> <laughs>